Welcome to my 10 things you should know before buying the ASUS Zephyrus G14. This is by far my favorite gaming laptop out of all the ones I've recently used as I just love how solid everything feels and the heaps of performance that it has in reserve. As I've been using the G14 for the past four months, there has definitely been some new things that stood out since my review back in May. Let's explore the 10 points I've picked up on, starting with the good. The first thing that I noticed about the G14 is the fantastic build quality, and four months later, it's still something I'm repeatedly impressed by. The entire chassis is made from a magnesium alloy, and every panel seems to have fantastic fitment. After testing more and more gaming laptops of varying price ranges, I came to appreciate the G14's incredible build quality even more. I would say only the Razer Blade 15 feels better built, but then again, the Blade 15 is in a completely different price category. The battery life of the G14 is quite staggering. It's the only gaming laptop that managed to last over seven hours of continuous YouTube playback during my tests. And it's a big reason why I chose it as my daily driver, as this is the one laptop that I can confidently take outside without bringing a bulky charger. And that is a massive selling point with the G14, as you don't have to bring three kilograms of gear just so you can type up an essay in the library. The Anime Matrix, which you can find on selective models, is by far the most novel and addictive feature of the G14. There are three main modes of animation to choose from. Animation mode allows you to put a picture or an animated GIF as well as individual texts with different fonts and sizes. System mode allows you to showcase your battery life, the time as well as the date. And finally, audio mode lets you choose in six different visualizations on how you want the sound to be displayed. If you want to place your own pictures or logos, you need to pick something with simple lines and edges, as the LEDs are too scattered to project minute details. The G14 is available with a range of GTX and RTX graphics cards, as well as a range of AMD Ryzen 4000 CPUs. The models I've used have both featured an RTX 2060 Max-Q and the 8-core Ryzen 7 4800HS. The performance of the G14 is quite surreal. It's hard to imagine something this compact and portable can play modern games at medium to high settings with very respectable frames at 1080p. For content creators, this laptop is also a dream to use as it munches through video editing and has a reasonably color accurate display to work with. The audio coming from the G14's quad speaker setup is nothing that will blow you away, but shines when compared to its competition. It's plenty loud and the sound projected is relatively clear. Here's how it sounds in relation to other laptops. The G14 comes with a very convenient fingerprint reader located underneath the power button. It's not as accurate as Touch ID for example on iPhones, but works relatively consistently especially if you register more fingerprints of the same finger. Noise was a concern that I originally voiced in my review of the G14. But having tested a few gaming laptops since then, I realized that the noisy fans isn't really too abnormal. Other gaming laptops, despite having bigger thermal constraints, would still require adequate cooling on high load, so the fans have to spin in order to keep the system under control. The only difference is the frequency of the fan noise. As the fan blades are smaller, they create a higher pitched sound when spinning at full speed, which may sound a bit annoying to some although you can hear for yourself. You can design your own curves to control the fan speeds, but it only works when the laptop is plugged in. 
However, a Reddit user has created a very useful app that can turn off the fans even when the laptop isn't plugged. A link to that app can be found in the description. This greatly improves the experience of the G14 as essentially you have a pitch silent system when you're working on lighter tasks. Heat is easily conducted onto the metal chassis, which is especially noticeable around the hinge areas of the laptop. While I don't have the tools to measure the exact temperatures, I can say that it's uncomfortable to touch even for a few seconds. So this raises some questions regarding the longevity of the G14, as the surfaces does seem to be warmer than most when gaming. If you disable CPU boost, the temps become noticeably lower. To do that, you would have to enter the registry to unlock a hidden setting inside the power plants. A detailed guide on how to get that done is linked below. Once I've turned off boosting, temperatures of the CPU drop by a massive 8 degrees. So now, in-game, I'm getting somewhere between 70 to 78 degrees Celsius, which is very respectable even compared to bigger and bulkier laptops. And I haven't really noticed any performance drop-offs either. The keyboard lighting of the G14 is probably its Achilles heel. Even at maximum brightness, the consistency of the illumination is widely varied between the keys. Although ASUS seems to have improved the keyboard lighting with the units later produced, it's still far from being perfect. Also, it only supports white backlighting, so if keyboard lighting is important to you, the G14 might not be the one. While the G14 has a fast 120Hz 1080p display, the response time of said display doesn't live up to the same standards. As you can see in this image, when I'm comparing the Omen 15's 144Hz display to the G14's, this little alien is a lot blurrier if we slow things down and look at it frame by frame. I can definitely see this as a problem if you're playing a fast-paced game with lots of things happening at the same time. But for the types of games I play, I don't really notice the ghosting happening, nor are my eyes really able to pick up on that. To summarize, I highly recommend the G14 for creators as well as gamers who want to find the best compromise between performance and everyday usability. The design is a breath of fresh air amongst gaming laptops as it blends minimalism with subtle hints of aggression. It's amazing to see how a laptop this compact can fit so much performance while still keeping temperatures in check. So if you're looking for something that's discreet and packs a whole lot of performance, the G14 is a laptop that I can wholeheartedly recommend. Yeah, um